XML is a popular format used for data transfer. XML schema validates the structure of the XML document to make sure required nodes are present, the node name and order is correct, etc. We can also add conditional checks on the XML document based on the value inside a node. In this video, we will first observe an XML document representing houses. Then we will state some validations we want to have in this document and create an XML schema to validate those. To test the validation, I have created a Java client. However, you can use any other program you might be using to validate XML documents with a schema or you are welcome to use the Java utility. Alright, here is the XML document we are interested in validating. It is a document representing houses in the state of Texas, Washington and Florida. Each house has common required attributes like state, address and area. The state of Texas and Washington say hypothetically we require them to specify the basement size and for the state of Florida we require the pool size to be specified. We can certainly specify the pool size for Texas and Washington but those are not required and similarly we can optionally specify the basement size in Florida but it is not required. So let us see how we can specify these rules using XML schema. So here is the XML schema we are going to use. In the main schema node we have the attribute form default and element form default which specify whether the local attributes and form elements in the XML document should be qualified with namespaces or not. We then define an excess namespace, the VC for the version namespace, specifying the minimum version for the schema to be 1.1 and we have the Xerces namespace which helps in producing error messages. We then start off with the top level element houses. In the schema definition, there are two kind of types a simple type like int, string, etc. and a complex type like here, houses type. The remaining section of the schema is just definition of complex types. The houses type complex type has a single element under it, house, which is another complex type, house type. Using min occurs, we say that it occurs at least once and max occurs is unbounded meaning there is no upper limit to the house elements it can have. Next, we have the definition of the complex type house type. We define a sequence of elements using sequence in the namespace xs. The first element of the type is a node with the name state of type state type. It is a simple type of type xs string but we defined it as a type to restrict the values it can have using the excess enumeration. So we are restricting it to Texas, Washington and Florida. Then we have simple elements, address of type string and area of type int. They are required as we have not put min occurs as zero for these. Next, we have elements basement size and pool size which are both of type int and both are optional with the min occurrence of zero. However, we will specify that they are optional only for certain conditions using excess assert test. Notice this is placed out of excess sequence. Using test, we are saying if the state is not Texas and the state is not WA, then it is okay for this node to be not present. But otherwise, we expect the node to be present. We have surrounded the conditions by outer parentheses and then there is an OR. In essence, we are saying that basement size is required for all houses in Washington and Texas using the Xerces message. Similarly, for the pool size, we have an assert test saying that either the state is not Florida, but if it is, then we require pool size to be specified. So using Xerces message, we say that pool size is required for all houses in Florida. So this message will be outputted when this validation fails. So as you can see, we have the order type as houses and then using complex type hierarchy, we have blown it up for the entire node structure. Now I have this Java Spring Boot project which I am using to validate our XML file with the schema. Again, this is just one way of testing it, 
but you can use any other tool you would like. Here I have implemented command line runner which upon startup calls this run method which then calls the validate XML schema method which takes in the XML and XSD files as input parameters and applies them. We are specifically using schema version 1.1. Here is the Java code for the validation. You can download the source code from GitHub URL I have posted in the link in the description below. Let us run this project. Right now, since the XML structure conforms to the schema, we see the validation as true. Let's remove the basement size from the first node with state Texas. Save it and run the project and we see this time it fails with the error message as basement size is required for all states in Washington and Texas. Let's put it back. Now let us remove the pool size from Florida node. Run the project again and it correctly validates raising an error that, that pool size is required in Florida. Now pool size is optional for Washington and Texas so if it is there it would not hurt. Let's copy that node under Washington, run the validation again and this time it passes. So in this video we saw how to create complex types, restrict the value for a node and do conditional validations making certain nodes required and certain optional based on a certain node value. Thanks for watching.